Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I have something exciting to tell you guys and show you guys today. Hope the start of your day is amazing. But also, uh, we have Lucy over here that shed, poop, destroyed her cage. So we're gonna get back to Lucy because before we do this, I gotta go show you something. So what I'm actually so excited about today is this is the day that the breeding season officially is paying dividends. And that's right, our first clutch of eggs for the year. A little Stimson Python, let's take a little peek right here. Oh my gosh, she's got a few eggs that are out of her coil here, but the rest of eggs, that's a beautiful clutch. Ooh, doggy, I tell you what, snake eggs, how amazing. And of course, this is a little Antaracea, a little pygmy python from Australia, the Stimson's pythons, which I absolutely love. And oh my goodness, that is a beautiful clutch of eggs. I mean, it's amazing to think that this little tiny girl right here could have this many eggs. I have no idea. It looks like there's at least 10, 12, maybe even 13 eggs in there. That is a huge, huge clutch. First clutch of the year. So we have to go ahead and get an egg box set up. And uh, you know what? Let's go ahead. Uh, let's roll that egg time song. And now the fun part, we're gonna actually pull these three eggs out right here that are outside. Now these guys are what they would call desiccated or actually dented in. So we're gonna try to hydrate these guys up with a little bit of moss. But I'm also gonna to wanna to candle these because again, the reason they're kicked out, uh, they could have rolled and the embryo could go. Well, again, we candle stuff every year. So this is the first time we're candling stuff, right? Let's go ahead and unwrap this girl around her eggs. And good job, mama. You did so good. Oh my God, I'm so proud of you. Wow, what a beautiful snake and what a beautiful clutch of eggs. So we're just gonna go ahead and move mama over here and then we'll slowly get these eggs out. These two eggs were in this thing so they look good and then everything else looks like they're in one little pile here. We'll get them over to here. We'll get mama all cleaned up, get her all ready to go, shut this up really quick. And again, this is what it's all about guys. Months and months and months of switching males and females and doing all the things to get eggs. Now these guys guys hatch in about 52 days, but let's see how many eggs there are. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 eggs. Oh my goodness, 18 eggs. Again, three were out, 15 were in the coils, three were out, 18 eggs. That is a giant clutch. As a matter of fact, last year you can see, she was our first clutch last year too. She laid 14 eggs on four two. So she's almost right on time. Just a few days later, one year later, 18 eggs. Hoo hoo doggy. What a way to start the breeding season. Again, it's gonna be an absolutely amazing year. Let's go ahead and candle these eggs and then I'll show you. I'll put a little bit of damp moss on them just to hopefully hydrate those eggs in a slow way. Don't want to over wet them because they'll drown, but you don't want to under wet them because they won't inflate right so uh, absolutely beautiful clutch let's go ahead and candle these eggs and what I'm doing is basically I'm just gonna turn on my phone here and I'm just kind of doing this and I'm trying to find where the embryo actually is and sure enough that embryo was upside down the embryo is actually right here so we're gonna go ahead and put that one down right there that's not really a great sign to be honest with you and these eggs are pretty desiccated I'm not gonna lie you can see another little embryo it's really hard because the eggs are so desiccated out but I can definitely see where the embryos are so I'm gonna set those guys down in here last egg this embryo was actually face up which is good so all right so I'm gonna put these three eggs together and now I'm gonna get a little bit of damp sphagnum so again this is just sphagnum moss and what I'm gonna do is just kind of dip it just a little bit in this water and then kind of wring it out again I don't want it to be like wet wet I want it to be just wet enough to where there's you know a little bit of moisture in there but I don't want any drips to come out at all so I'm gonna squeeze it to the point where there's no drips left whatsoever because if it's too wet it'll actually drown the eggs and the eggs will go bad already these are pretty desiccated so I am a little bit worried about them popping back out but then I'm just gonna just slightly just kind of go over like that just so that the actual slight damp sphagnum is touching all the eggs and they can absorb that moisture and there's even a couple eggs over here I'm gonna just put these sphagnum kind of all over the top just a little bit just to kind of absorb get the humidity up in the actual egg box too so that's it we'll go ahead and mark this clutch one first clutch of the year put these in these guys go home to my home incubator and uh, we are on the road man how awesome is that I'm super excited. I wanted to add something for me in the podcast room. And what would be better than a little wine rack? 
So I went ahead and found one, came today, and Brian better put that together, and I'm excited to put all my wine and glasses on it. Okay, gotta show Lori her new wine counter over in here. I hope you like it. Dun 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 dun. What do you okay. think? Okay, I like it. That's not where it's gonna go. Where where, where are you gonna put it? <laughs> um, I was thinking that, like right there. Right there. We'll move it. Is it? Oh, it's on wheels. Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, I think it looks good. Yeah, this is cool. Now I gotta bring all my stuff. I know you got the wine glass you can go underneath here on top yeah, there. Yeah, I've got those cool uh, little kind of like angle like that makes the bottle float. Oh, yeah, that's, oh, yeah. yeah. You can put those so up they there. Can there. Be, yep, oh, too. that's awesome. So, and I've got all the cool cups everybody sends and yep. stuff like that. So, this is awesome. I'm so excited. This yeah. will make podcasting for me so much easier because it'll just be here. I don't yeah, have to be running around. Yeah. I just walk down, open it up, and sit down. Perfect. All right. <laughs> So I guess I did good. All right, so back to Lucy. Definitely made a mess in her cage. Ooh, doggy, that's some poop soup right there. You gotta love that. And uh, we'll see what kind of a mood she's in. Looks like shed wise, she's in pretty good shape. She's got just, oh, she's already, oh my God. That's not good. When I walk in like this and she's already perking up like that, that's a problem. So let's just see, oh, 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 oh. Wait, Lucy, what's going on, girl? Oh my gosh, she is. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely be in trouble here. She is in a mood today. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Woo! There we go. Not in the poop soup, not in the poop soup, not in the poop soup, not in the poop soup. Come on, come on. Snake Wrangling 101 right here, baby. Oh my gosh, she is so strong. Just got that little piece of shed on her back. Oh, that, gosh, this is a long snake. Let's see if I get the shed off real quick. Where are you going, Lucy? She is fast. <laughs> Look at her. She's cruising. Come on, monkey. Up you go, up you go. Hi ho, hi ho. Soft dork we go. Ah! Ah! It's too heavy. Look at these two knuckleheads. What? We're just letting you film. <laughs> we're Thanks right, for help, we're right here for support. Thanks for helping. I don't you know. Call in the professionals yeah, and then we'll help the you. We got it. Call in the professionals. Hey, professionals. Oh. Hey, Noah. Yeah, here. Hello. Yeah. yeah, hello. Can you come help you me with something? Lucy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. On our way you right now. You got time? Yeah, I got some time. Okay, all right. All right, let's go. Hey, the professionals are here. The professionals are here. You need any help? Yeah, could you uh, help me get her in this tub? Yeah, yeah, yeah no yeah. problem. You should have just asked. Mike, you weren't part of the profession. No, oh, oh, fine. Oh. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, you guys are working real good. Cover that head up, boy. 1 800. 1 800. The profession. There it is. Who doggy. Good job, guys. There you go. There you go, Mike. I didn't do much, but... <laughs> I got yelled at it. All right. <laughs> all right, so you guys can clean that cage up, and then we'll get uh, we'll get you guys... Uh, oh, wait. Hello? That's all. Hello? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You get yeah. the call? Yeah. yeah. We got Let's time. Go. Let's right. go. Yeah. That's what we're doing. And all that's left is to put her back. Thankfully, she's usually pretty good about going back. Ah, oh, you did so good, Lucy. 
You're such a good girl. But try not to make my job so hard next time, all right? Excuse me. Uh, I was wondering, do you need to call the professionals again? To no, I think I got this one. I think last time uh, I got ripped off when I made okay. that call. All right, cool. Oh, maybe I need them. <laughs> here you go, baby. Here you go. Here you go. Right here. Ah, there you go, sweetheart. And of course, you'll go right in that tree, like always. OCD retic right there. <laughs> and there she goes. So predictable, but what a wonderful, I mean, just look at how long that snake is. It just keeps going and going and going. I love every day I get to work with Lucy though. Well, the plan here is to give Drogo a dry bath. Uh, we don't want to stress him out too much before we open, but he is a little bit stinky today. So we have some dry, <laughs> <laughs> we have some dry uh, shampoo that we're going to do. And I'm also going to try to feed him a little bit to keep him preoccupied. It's still a little wet. There you go. There you go. He's such a spoiled baby. You've got the life. How many sloths get this treatment? No. I didn't even treat my children this way. <laughs> I'm not I gonna lie. <laughs> as soon as they were old enough, I'm like, hold your own spoon. <laughs> my dog's gonna get treated this way. We did get you some green beans too. I'm gonna have some of those later. It's like Rubbing me. <laughs> <laughs> he actually is doing pretty good for it though. Yeah. Really. He doesn't mind being petted. And it's pretty much what you're doing. Hey drugs. You want a little bit more, bud? Oh my gosh, that smells so much better. Pretty good scent. Yeah. Yeah, I bought it for my dog. <laughs> she used to roll in really stinky stuff. <laughs> my husky, which, you know is not fun to bathe. No, no. So if I could get away with that, I'd just make it a mess. Jay can clean all this up after. <laughs> you said you want me to get the mop bucket for you? You want to sweep first and then mop. That's oh, the way that's that goes. That's how it goes? Yes. Uh, well, that actually went pretty good, I'd say, all things considered. Um, he's happy. He's getting fed. Uh, he smells better, so that's a plus. And uh, yeah, I think we're good to go. We're at that stage of the breeding season where things are really starting to happen with ball pythons. Lots of animals that are done breeding, already ovulated, ready to go. Eggs are just a couple weeks away. And uh, this is when, again, I start speeding things up really quick. I wanna check lots of follicles. Gonna ultrasound a bunch of females. The ones that are feeding, I've gotta feed really heavily. Gotta get the males in with the right females at the right time. So uh, I've got my work cut out for me. So uh, I'm just gonna jump in and start crushing this out. It's so exciting, ball python egg season is literally within two weeks. How amazing is that going to be? Tell you what guys, it's gonna be a banger of a year down here. Things are looking really good. So there you have it guys, first snake eggs of the season. I mean, it's on, it's, it's ready to go. It's about to heat up here. So I know a lot of people in my community poll actually said they wanted to see a split between BHB and reptile breeding and the reptarium. So you guys are about to get it. There's gonna be a lot of BHB content and there's always a lot of reptarium content. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, hit this playlist right here. You can watch a handful of videos. It means a lot to me. Up here, you can subscribe to my podcast channel. On this side, we are so close to 3 million. Hit that subscription button and turn those post notifications on. Have a wonderful day. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.